all right um good day ladies and gentlemen you're welcome here today again to this uh video tutorial this was brought to you by dewpoint graphics and sponsored by dewpoint graphic academy so today in this video tutorial, we're going to be learning how to design this amazing um but very simple um new month flyer right so please kindly stay tuned to us and then stay connected also um please if this is your first time coming across this our channel kindly do all to click on the subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop such amazing content right so without wasting much time let's start from scratch right so today we are going to be using um a size here but then the size we are going to be using we are going to be using a customized size click on this one here right now we are going to input a width and we are going to input the height we are going to be using 1280 pixels by 1280 pixels you see that so that's what we are going to be using right so after that you click on create new design right create new design so the page is going to upload like this <coughs> The page is going to upload so we just have to wait a bit uh, it's all about your network uh, your internet connectivity if it is that strong right now the first thing we are going to be doing we need to work on the background right now the color of the background was gotten from the shirts which are um, the, the, the 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 image we use right so we are first of all what we need to do is to import that particular image so you come to your camera roll right and then we are going to import that particular image so you add to page right now when you add it to page this is the image here what we are going to do is that now click on the background right click on the background leave the image and then you click on the background now when you click on the background click on color right click on color now after you click on color you see there's a plus sign here there's a plus sign there so click on that plus sign today i want to teach you something really uh very important so you see there's a pencil tool down here right check down here right where the arrow is pointing to there's this pencil tool here just click on the pencil tool you see the pencil tool is a color picker we call it a color picker it is used to pick color from images right so we want the background color to be the same uh, as that of the back uh, the color of the uh, the shirts the celebrities wearing right so that is why we clicked on the color picker so when you you click on it that way you see that the image itself the color picker already will detect that there's a color on the shirt that it is picking right so just click on done just click on done when you click on that you see that the background color changes to the color of the ladies uh, uh, shirt right now let's say we want it to still be more uh, deeper or maybe lighter than that we can you see there's a ball here right there's this ball here so just hold the ball and drag it to this area you see you can drag it down here you see we have dragged it to to add a uh, more darkness to the background so when you are done you just click on the cancel right just click on the cancel and this is what you are going to have here you see that it's as amazing as that just take your time and then uh, you do it now after that we are going to hold the image increase the size right then we bring it here now one thing I want to tell you is that don't leave your images hanging this way right just bring it down a bit like this so that the down part of the image uh, or the bottom portion of the image will be closed right so that is it now the next thing we are going to be doing is to add a shape and then the shape we are going to be adding is a circle right so you come to elements right you click on elements then you locate a circle from the shapes column you see this is the shapes right so where you are not seeing you just click on the see more uh, or see all you see the shape right so i'm just going to click on this shape right so this is the shape here i'm going to import so we are going to hold the shape increase the size of the shape this way now make sure you follow this video tutorial carefully because um is there is a lot of things here we are going to be adding or you are going to be learning now first of all let's change the color of the shape to 
white like this so it change the color of the shape to white right now when you are done what you need to do is right we are going to move this shape to the back of the the lady right now how can we do that we can do that by clicking on the shape when you click on the shape right you can come scroll through the options you have here we have what we call layers here when you click on the layers you see the position of the circle this is the position right this is the circle this is the lady and this is the background right so we want the circle to be at the back of the lady so what we need to do is that we need to hold the circle and move it to the back of the lady like this so the lady has to come on top here and then the white circle will be at the back i hope you understood so that's how it is done right right so that is it for that now the next thing we are going to be adding is a particular effect you can see that there was um some kind of line crossing the face of the lady here the design i showed you earlier so what we are that's what we are, we are trying to achieve now now what would we do we will come to elements right then this is the search bar right so we are going to click on the search bar then we search for uh circle outline circle outline so you search for what circle outline now these are the uh various uh options we have here so we are going to select this particular one here you see it i said don't touch the pro if you touch the pro it's a paid version right so just click on the one that is not paid now um this is it here so now we are going to increase the size to fit uh the size of the circle that we kept at the back there right so just increase the size that way right now after you are done increasing the size scroll through here you see color you see color here right so you click on the color we are going to change the color to the color of the background are you hearing what i'm saying the color of the background so when you change the color of the background this is what you are going to have here you see that effect so that is what we are trying to achieve now some people can also decide to change the color to any color at all they want something like this you see it's still blending perfectly with the background but then i choose to use uh this color here right so you can also decide to use it or you change it right so that is how to achieve that particular um style there right the next thing we are going to be doing is to add a set uh, we are going to add a rectangle so we are going to click on elements then you select after you click on elements you come to um shapes right this is shapes here right so you click on see all or when you can see a rectangle you can just click uh, sorry a square when you can see a square just click on the square right just click on the square now we are going to uh, regulate the size of the square here so place it down uh, top here just regulate the size to have something like a rectangle right then we are going to change the color of this to the color of the background so you just come to color then you choose the background color now after you are done with that what we are going to be doing is to add a text right which is hello january so first of all you click on text add the heading now we are going to edit the heading then we write hello right we are going to write hello right so we are going to place this one at the top here right so reduce the size then give it a color the color the the black color is not matching with the color of the shape so you just change the color to white right you change it to white now the font we are going to give this particular text so you scroll through we have fonts here click on fonts we are going to use the font uh we are going to use a Montserrat font right or let's use roboto so you come here you see roboto here so we are going to select roboto we are going to select roboto for that and then uh, we are going to now add a text so the text you are going to add click on text add a heading we want to add january now but then the january we are going to split it into two the first part is going to take j a n right 
and then the second part will take the U A R Y. So we just write J A N, right? Then we give it a color, the same as the background color, right? You can see that the color is not visible here because it's white. So let's change the color to that of the background color. So something like this. Then you increase the size a bit. You can place it here. Right, you can place it here. Now let's select a font for it. Let's use um we can use Montserrat, right? So come to font, then you move top, then you scroll through, you see Montserrat, right? We are going to select Montserrat. Now, one thing I want to mention is that maybe let's say if you come to the font area and then you are not seeing the font, this is the search bar. You can just search for the name of the font. Just like we mentioned Roboto regular, you can just click on, you can just search for Roboto. So when you search for Roboto, you see Roboto fonts will appear. Then you just use, this is it here. Right, so that's how to get any font at all you want. So you click on, uh, so we are going to place the text here. Then we are going to click on it and copy the text, bring it down here. Then we edit this one, then we write uh u a r y right so that is it for this section now the lady hand is a bit covering the 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 text right this section so we can just move the lady's image back a bit so that it will not right or we reduce the size of the general the this this text here right let's reduce the size then we place it here right it's still the same thing right so that is how to achieve this particular one here now the next thing we are going to be doing is to add maybe a message for the month uh a message for the month so just click on the text add a subheading so you edit the subheading then you just write anything like hey, this month hey, this month bring to you victory and success something like that you can just write anything at all uh, any message you have to say right so you reduce it this way reduce the size right let's reduce the size then we are going to place it we are going to place it here we just give it some Spaces like this. Um, I'm just trying to. All right. So now let's place. Let's place this text here, right? Let me still. Let me still reduce the size, right? So place it here. Then we are going to give it the same color as that of the background color. So that is it. So that uh, we can have some kind of uniform combination of color you know color is a very important um element of graphic design that we shouldn't play with right so the next thing we are just going to import some um images here so make sure you you um you get those images right i'm going to leave it uh in our telegram channel so if you want to get access just check in the description below right so you just click on it then you add to page so we are going to bring this thing down here right so this is the first one we are going to place here and we are just going to copy it again right if you want to copy this one just click on you see there's a copy button here let me change the color of this thing here i think you guys cannot see it well right so this is it i'm talking about so just hold it this one just copy it then you bring it to the top here right so that's how to achieve this one so that is it for this particular one too now the next thing we are going to be doing is to add our name to it right so just come to elements right when you come to elements right there is this particular shape here this particular shape you see that's the one i'm going to be using but then you can if you don't see it there just click on the see more as always you see it right so we are going to click on it this way so when we click on it we bring it down here right then we 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 extend it this way then 
just regulate the size something like this to get something appearing so we post we place it here right so after that we give it a color the color here uh, we are going to give it is white right so we are going to give it a white color now after you've given it a white color scroll through this editing features you see this we call transparent sorry you see transparency right there's transparency here at this section so just click on transparency and you reduce the transparency to uh, maybe 60 it's not bad right 60 so after you are done that way you click on it then you click on this particular copy button right just click on the copy button then you reduce the size the size of the one you copy then you go back to that transparency right then you increase that one the transparency back to 100 you get that so that's how i achieved this particular thing you get it then the next thing is just to add our name so designed by designed designed by so you just write design by read after that you can now uh reduce the size then you place it down here i'm going to use the same color i use for the background so make sure you go and choose the same color then you can now add your name here so i'm going to add a text edit a text then i write dew point graphics graphics you can as well add your contact info so that anyone who wants to reach out to you can reach out to you 689 so that is my contact so i'm going to place this one down here make sure you reduce the size right reduce the size then you place it down here you see that so you can either leave it at black color or you change it to the color of um the background yeah because black will blend well with uh on a white background right so that is it for this particular design so when you are done as usual you know what we do right you click on this and then you save your design so that is it for this particular flyer thank you very much for watching please um kindly do us a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and then also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we drop such amazing content thank you very much see you in the next video